Hey, what's up out there, YouTube land and baseball fans? It's me, Doc Elrica Clocker, New Yorker, talking about the Dodgers edition of the new MSI Wintop AE2220, the Dodger edition. I just want to stop right there and say I hope the PC runs better than the Dodgers are doing. Hey, what am I saying? But anyways, we'll go over the features right now, so follow along as we show you what this Dodger version is all about. All right, sorry uh, to any of you Dodger fans, that was just a joke. But hey, what comes inside this new uh, MSI Wintop A2220 as far as hardware goes? As far as your CPU, you get an Intel Core 2 Duo T6600 at 2.2 gigahertz. As far as your hard drive goes, you get a 64, 640 gigabyte hard drive. As far as your memory, you get four gigabytes. As far as your optical, you get a super multi-drive. It comes installed with Windows 7 Home Edition. It comes with a touch panel. The color is white and also comes with an additional keyboard and mouse to operate this thing. Okay, so here we check out the rear I.O. The first thing that you can see is we have a TV input thing here. So basically, if you got your cable TV jack, you just run the cable in the back of here and you can watch TV on this new Wintop AE2220. You also get four USB jacks. You get a single uh, standard uh, VGA external out for if you want to hook up another monitor. You get an HDMI out. You get an uh, eSATA out, which is great if you want to hook up an external hard drive because it has very fast transfer rates. You also get the, uh, right here, your LAN port for hooking up your internet and stuff like that. And then for your audio, you get standard audio, but you also get an SPDIF if you want to use digital speakers. So in some ways, this thing's kind of like a Mac. Boo, I hear the comments coming already, but in kind of a way it is, because just like on the side of a Mac, you get an, uh, an SD card reader right here, you get two more additional USB slots, and this is also where your combination DVD drive is, all right here located on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, I'm gonna spin the thing around. The right-hand side controls all the properties of your monitor. Your brightness, how big the screen is, all those type of features. In this way, it's actually kind of built out a bit like a Samsung monitor because Samsung monitors have their controls usually located in about the same place. Okay, so here as we come out of the closing of the video, this is one thing that I think is really, really cool. Even my mom, who's 70 years old, really, really liked this thing. When she saw this, she was like, oh, hey, I want to take this thing home. And this is the touchscreen interface. You can just go up to this thing and click on it and all of a sudden be doing anything that you want to do. You want to be on the internet, you want to see things bigger, smaller, all you can do it. Hey, check it out. We've got the Challenger uh, gaming keyboard here going on here. What's going on there? Hmm. So we'll pop off that. Go over here. Got a little experience NVIDIA thing. Here's the sound of it going. Woo, it's a party! So check it out. This is the WinTouch gadget screen. This is pretty cool. This is where you just go ahead and... and rock and roll through here. This actually reminds me still quite a bit of a Mac and the features that they have on a Mac. So for those of you who hate Mac, know that sometimes the PC world does copy the Mac. <gasps> there is also a virtual keyboard on here. It's over here on the side here. I'm trying to get it to pull out. And there we go. There is the virtual keyboard. So check this out. This you can actually type your letters and everything just right here on a virtual keyboard. So you can open up Word or anything else. As you can see over here, it actually wrote a, what I did out here. See, I'll write out hello, hello. And now it says the fuck hello. It's a new language I've just created, the fuck hello. And it means uh, peace be with you, my brothers of YouTube. Uh, but overall, hey, check it out. This thing's really cool. This is the MSI Dodgers version of the Wintop AE2220. Like I said before, you can get this thing custom made if you want to, as long as you're buying bulk through the OEM channel, to anything you want. So if you're a fan of the Yankees, talk to somebody who owns that stuff and get it for your Yankees. If you're a business owner and like to have every computer in your business custom made for your business, talk to MSI and get it custom made. Overall, this is a really nice unit. The MSI Wintop AE2220 is a great value coming in at about $700 when other units of the equivalent stuff are coming in at about $1,200. Good job, MSI.